Welcome, Blessed Star family, to day two of our Samhain spiritual reset. Today's theme is Unpack Your Heart. And I will put links below. Always look in the description box for fun little um, extensions of our work here together. Uh, it's one of my favorite songs, and I believe it's by Philip Phillips. But it's just so wonderful, and the words, and I'll, I'll find uh, a link to the words so you can hear the song and the words. And I feel like this is a message to spirit, excuse me, a message to us from spirit asking us to break open our heart chakra, unpack our heart, and get settled in. Because if you found yourself here and a part of this 10-day spiritual reset, you're here because deep down something's missing. Something doesn't feel right. Something still needs to be left behind. Or maybe it's that something new needs to get in its place. You've left behind what you needed to leave behind, but you're still feeling empty. There's something, something's going on. I feel you. I feel the same way because I'm, I'm a loving being. I love love. I love being playful and loving and wonderful. Yet there's an energy that I just can't seem to shake. So I'm working with that myself. And that's why when I asked Spirit what I needed, they presented me with this uh, Samhain spiritual reset. Ten days countdown to Samhain. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. Samhain, as it's spelled there, as it looks as Sam Hain, but it's actually pronounced Samhain. Halloween. It's different for different cultures. Everybody celebrates things differently, but Samhain basically is bringing, it's, it's a lot of things. It's bringing in the harvest. It's when the veil is the thinnest between this world and the other worlds. A lot of people just say the other side because there's so many multiple worlds and universes and lots of things going on. So with the way that the world is, when you look outside your window, you know, if you listen outside your world, you know that there's stuff going on. And I think for a lot of us, if you found yourself here, it's because we're such lovers. We just want to love, but yet we have been guarded with our heart, haven't we? Listen to that airplane above. I feel like it's telling us to let it, let it go. And as that plane flies overhead and goes away, it's a perfect example of what Spirit was talking to us about yesterday, which was we want to feel things, but then we want to let them go. Wow, that's a really big plane, isn't it? Do you hear that? It's like it just keeps going. All of a sudden, like... <laughs> An alien ship descends onto my house. <laughs> I totally would not be shocked at all. I've been having so much touch with that. Anyway, but like the plane, right? Like we heard it and then it flies by. I'm close to an airport, by the way. That's why it's like taking a, a minute to like kind of like this, you know, ascend up into the air. But it's the same analogy. They want us to feel the feelings, but then they want us to let it go. And if it's almost like we're doing the opposite with love, it's like we're feeling love and we're loving, feeling love. But then it's like love is the passing feeling instead of love being the permanent feeling and the emotions, the bad mood, the, the fight, the minced words, whatever, you know, we're letting that linger or we're doing the worst, in my opinion, which is like rehashing a fight that happened like many moons ago. And it's like, what is, nothing's going to change. Sorry, guys. I was, uh, the interesting, sorry, it's my cord. The interesting thing was I was um, kind of blindfolded there. Not blindfolded, but I had my eyes closed. So like I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> So I must have just hit it. Anyway, you hear where we're going with this, you know, so spirit just wants us to know 
Um, I'm, I have more stuff coming in later. Uh, stay tuned uh, because I'm actually going to be putting out, I think it's going to be a pick a reading uh, for what to expect this Scorpio season or something like that, something along those lines. But um, I started building the altar for both of them. But <laughs> anyway, and also an homage to the ancestors here. It's my homemade soup. It was so good. Cumin, um, cumin carrot. Uh, with coconut milk and vegetable broth and um, vegan sausage and local uh, organic potatoes. But I fried the potatoes and the meat first and then I like made it, it made this nice hearty soup because it went from 74 degrees during the day to 54 during the, <laughs> 54 degrees during the day. Last night it was in the 30s. I was like, holy crap. I woke up this morning. I could see my breath. I'm like, holy shit. Like fall is really here. So with that being said, um, I, I've realized for myself, that's why my heart is like open, then clenching, then open, then clenching. Cause it's, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated with like what's going on in my world. And I started to realize what was going on. And it's because when I was little, I wasn't, nobody really listened to me. And I was the youngest for my cousin. My first cousin after me didn't come for like seven years. So I was the baby for a long time. Um, and you know, they kind of, <laughs> I was the breath they created, right? Because I was funny and silly. My grandma like adored me and like, you know, loved to like, you know, put me on these like fun little pedestals and, um, make me do little shows and routines <laughs> and stuff. You know, I was a little character. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I started to realize what's going on with me is that I feel like I, our family, Alder, myself, and Bubba should be getting some priority over time about finishing this house. You know, I mean, we agreed on certain things and, you know, I know life happens, but what, what I'm seeing now is that something else is taking precedence over us getting in there. Several things have been taking precedence and it's frustrating because I'm just like, wow, okay, so basically we're the low on your totem pole. And that's how it was for me growing up. I was always the lowest on the totem pole. And then I found myself in relationships, friendships, you know, it's like jobs. If I didn't like make myself known, um, I would be treated differently. And so I found at an early age that, you know, to just be silly, be a clown, kind of put on this persona. I learned how to read people really well, really quickly and uh, started to recognize that I had these gifts and I had these abilities that no one else really had. And I use them. I use them to my advantage and not always, you know, for the good. And so there's a lot coming for me right now. Like this is karma because the truth is I need to be patient with this. You know, it's like these people just had a huge death in the family and it, you know, and so I have these moments where I just get really frustrated and I'm just, I'm, and I get angry. And I said to my husband, I'm like, I don't know how to hold love in my heart anymore. I'm like, every time I go near them, I get frustrated and, and I want to be loving and open and I am, but then when I leave their presence, I feel this anger, I feel this frustration, you know, and I'm like, obviously, you know, something is going on there. So, you know, that's my unpacking my heart to you. That's me being open and sharing with you, like what's going on with me and why I am starting to recognize certain patterns in my life. What are you recognizing? What patterns are you recognizing in your life? Today, I'm very excited to report that we are going to be working with the Fairy Tarot. I love this deck more than I can tell you. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So the fairies want to speak to us um, about unpacking our heart because the other part of that is the, the title of the album is Behind the Light. And what Spirit was trying to say to us is what's behind the light is love. So it's like, we can't like, in one hand say like, you know, me like, Oh, light and love or peace and love and all this. And then in the background, I'm like, you know, what the fuck, you know, like, why are they taking so long? And, you know, but to their face, I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And I was like, well, I'm like, then, then I'm being fake and I'm being phony and I'm not being myself. Right. So, um, there's gotta be somewhere in between there. 
I would apologize for the altar, but the fairies made it and they keep having me move stuff around. And you know, fairies like their fun frolic. Also, I'm getting a lot of energy from the dark fairies. Uh, lots of energy from the dark fairies, which is not bad. All it's saying is that it's time for us to really face our darkness, you know? Um, this I knew this feather wanted to come in. So it's time for us to face our darkness. And the life spiral wanted to come in too. And figure out where did it begin? Where did it begin that you started to protect your heart? Where did it begin that you started to shield yourself um, from other people? And because you're so sensitive, you're so loving, empathic, all of these things, right? If you found yourself here, you know, there's a reason why you're here today. There are no accidents. So you're here for a reason. Um... Let's hear what they have to say. Also, I call upon your higher self and my higher self. And yes, the fairies are here. Thank you, fairies. We call upon uh, the ancestors, our spirit guides, our animal guides, all the angels and archangels, the galactic beings, all those who watch out for us, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, our creator, the gods and goddesses, all those who wish to be here today and our greatest and highest good, you are welcome here. We call on Archangel Michael to protect this portal. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. We ask Raphael to also step in for some healing. The east, air, south, fire for Michael. West, water, communication. Yes, blessed Scorpio season. Welcome Scorpio season. Thank you, Gabriel of the west. And thank you, Uriel of the north of grounding. Okay, so um, earth. Thank you all for being here. As above, so below. First, do no harm. Okay, in this order, they said, wow. Okay, so I don't normally do this, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to today. Wait, hold on. By the way, our angel number is 1152. When I look down, that's where it was. And it's also the number nine. And they just want to remind us that we are almost there. Okay, so our first card is 10 of spring. 10 of spring. Now, spring is the west water. Gabriel, like I just said, it's also the sign of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and it's the cups in the tarot. Look at their face. I'm sorry, but this totally look like balls and a phallic penis. You know me, I just say as I say what I see. So I almost feel like they're like, I feel like this, I mean, at first I felt like they were look, looking over there like, hmm, I'm going to give me some of that. But then I kind of felt like this was looking forward. Like they're like, yeah, I'm not interested in that anymore. And maybe it could be that like you were in a relationship where like the sex was really good and it was really amazing, um, you know, but, and when they were with you intimately, you felt their heart, but yet like when like maybe they can't commit or maybe like in the outer world, it's just like, hey, what's up like that. But then in the bedroom with you there, you know, and it doesn't even have to be a penis. It could just be a representation of the divine masculine. So it could be a woman too. It doesn't have to necessarily just because they show themselves as like, let's just say this is being shown as a feminine deity. Um, it's still, you know, it's all up in, until interpretation. And look at this little one right here, this little Tinkerbell over here as well. The fairies really wanted to come in and look at this. There's angels down here. There's wing. It looks like wings here, almost like they're hiding in the back. Like you see these wings here, but these feel like separate, almost like there's someone back there, like someone trailing behind you, maybe a child or someone small. Maybe you're having a hard time, you know, having relationships because you have children. You know, that's, it's difficult when to have a relationship anyway, you know, in the beginning and working through a lot of stuff, but then bringing children into it can be challenging. Okay, so this card says, ask for help from others, all work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Also, um, look at how the light is shining over like the basket. It looks like the basket's like part of their job, like maybe they're like going, you know, to work or from work or something, but the light was there almost like, yeah, if you can take a break. I heard for some of you, if you've got personal days or you've got, you know, time stored up, take a break. I was actually surprised this morning. I was talking to spirit and I was like, I just realized I'm like, why would you like yesterday when I did, um, episode one, the higher power, um, that was really awesome. But I just started to realize like, here I am saying, oh, it's time for us to like, you know, be quiet and, you know, go inward and all this stuff. The spirit's been telling us lately yet. They have a start a 10 day spiritual challenge. 
at the end of a moon cycle. But that's what's so great about it. It's like, it's kind of like right now, they just, if you're here, they just want us to focus on our spiritual health. Nothing else matters, you know, because even with your friends, your family, your children, your boss, whatever, you are not, you are no use to anybody if you're exhausted and you're worn out. And so, you know, I mean, I love their outfit. It looks like something I would wear to the farmer's market. Um, I love this gypsy look. But also at the same time, this is not somebody who is really rich, right? Like you can see, if I can come in a little bit closer, you can see that their skirt is tattered. It's tattered here. It's because they can't even afford, you know, they don't even have shoes. They can't afford it. They're over there. They're pedaling. They're busting their ass. And Spirit's like, and I feel like for some of you, you're busting your ass. And you're like, for what? Like nothing is coming. And they're saying it's because you're still trying to push forward when you need to relax. You know, I had to, I had to just tell everybody that's been working on our, our house. I was like, I'm out until November 3rd. I'm like, I've just given way too much energy to this whole thing, like from beginning to end. And, um, or I will have, you know, it's not over yet, but I realized I'm like, you know what, this is my time. Like this is, I'm, my moon is in Scorpio. So today is the very first day of Scorpio season. And from now until usually the end of the year is when I thrive the most because I am, my moon's in Scorpio, but I'm a triple Sag. So it's really my time. And I'm, I'm like, you know what? I have to take care of myself and how I take care of myself is taking care of you guys because I, I need this for myself. And so I'm recording this for me and for you. I'm part of this. We're doing this together. You know, I'm just the moderator. I'm, I'm the medium, but you know what? After this, yeah, I'm going to do a reading. I don't know if I'll do it today or maybe they'll have me do it tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, but I realize like what they want is, for me to just focus on myself and spirit right now, not the house, not getting things for the house, not looking. Cause I have been, I'm on offer up. I'm on Craigslist. You know, I'm like, I'm trying to fill a house. I'm, I, the kitchen and bathroom were gutted, you know? So it's like, we have all these things we have to do and put in and, um, our landlord's not paying for all of it. It's, you know, it's on us too. It was, you know, that's why we're getting a really good deal on it and not paying a deposit and all that. It's because we're working on it. We're doing it with him. You know, and um, I just had to put my foot down and say, you know what, this is my most special time of the year for myself and my soul family and my channel. And I said, you know what, I'm out. If you need anything, you can talk to me on November 3rd. Otherwise, I'm like, you guys sort it out on your own. I, they already know what I want, what I'm looking for. I told them I was just like, <laughs> I'm out, you know, and I'm doing this instead and cooking and baking and all the things that I love to do at the witchy time of the year. So you know what? If you need to take a vacation now, don't save up for Thanksgiving or Christmas or Yule or whatever you celebrate, you know, um, just take the time now or take a few days now, at least, you know, especially if you have like, you know, two days off, then take a day off on either side of your days off. So you have four days off and it's like, technically you're only taking two days off, but you get four days off. You know, it's like, be smart about it. You know, I'm doing the same thing. I was like, at first I told him November 2nd. And then I thought, no, November 3rd, because this is going to be some intense shit. I can feel it. The ancestors have been coming through so strong. 1818, by the way. Oh, another 99, because we're almost there. But look at this. They're saying it's the 10 of spring. So, um, you know, you may be at the con the conclusion of something, right? Like you're you're there, like you've reached 10, but you still might need some help. And all work and no play, right, makes so-and-so a dull person. <laughs> and if you're being weighed down by too many responsibilities, you can't get to this completion of the 10. That's the vibe I get from spirit. So let's see what the next card is. The Ace of Spring, which is the same. Oh my gosh, I just realized we got the same. And here we are, water, water on Scorpio. Oh, I love you fairies. Let me get closer. This is a darling little card. And look at where the light is like hitting right now. It's so beautiful. And aces are ones. It's about new beginnings. So it's like, I feel like they're trying to say like the 10 of spring is like, you're at the end of something right now. I feel like all of us, if you found yourself here doing this challenge with me and no fucking 
Oh, you know what? This is when I love, love, love spirit so much. Of course, spirit, spirit just said, hence the 10. I'm like, oh yeah, 10 days. Cause I was thinking like, we should do something funny. Like, you know, like the 12 days of Christmas, but the 12 days to Samhain. And I was like planning all this stuff and they were like, no. And they, I kept hearing the number 10. So yeah, I feel like this is like the countdown to Samhain. You know what I mean? Like for us to finally let go of everything. And if you found yourself here, most likely you're a witch, a fairy healer. Obviously, if you're here, you, you know, you must have some connection to the fairies. I mean, the fae are, they wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like you just wouldn't be here. Um, they're just so powerful. And, and, and even if it's just that you're not, you don't consider yourself fae, but you're connected to the fae, um, you know, like they help you out a lot. Like maybe you're more elvish or gnome or unicorns or dragons or, you know what I mean? It's all the same. But also they drew my eyes to look at the butterflies, right? So we've gone through it. We've gone through it. We have been through it, man. We, we bought the t-shirt. We sent the postcard. We bought the program. You know what I mean? We are tattered. We are tired. We lost our shoes along the way. Most likely we probably gave our shoes to somebody else because that's the way we are, right? That's not saying like we're saints or anything. It's just saying like we did the work. If you found yourself here on this 10 day challenge, you did the work. And now it's at the end of it. And this is what it feels like, right? You feel like that, but new beginnings are here. And that's what's so great about this one is because look at that outfit. It's all fresh and new and spring. And if you remember in day one, um, we spoke of how th that springtime was going to be a big deal for a lot of us. So for some of us in this group, you know, I personally believe we are in three different stages. If you found yourself to this channel, you have, you are either at the beginning of the dark night of the soul in the middle of it, or you're at the end of it. And so I feel like for some of you things like this winter, this fall and winter, or if you're in the Southern hemisphere, cause we do have a lot of Southern hemisphere, um, spring, summer, there's going to be a lot of stuff you're going to be going through. Also, we are at the, we are in eclipse season. It's officially here. It's a few days from now. We're now like in hours in real time. Um, today is October 23rd, Sunday. Um, it's always timeless, of course, but that's where we are in real time. So we're in eclipse season. And I feel like over this time, over this eclipse season, we're, things are going to come back. You know, think about what happened last eclipse season, which was spring, right? And I feel like we're meant to like really face it now and look at it so that when we get to the next spring or fall, for those of us in the Southern, um, you know, the magic and everything will like, everything's just going to like open wide up everything's going to open wide up. But you know, we want to push it in our human time and spirit says they cannot stress enough how much it is on their time and not ours. And that's difficult. I understand. But at the same time, you know, look at this. I said that and then they said, look at the card. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. Okay. So that's what I'm hearing. So for some of you, Whatever, whenever springtime is for you will be the time to take action. And that's when you'll be fearless and you'll be so ready to face your most treasured dreams and your amazing career opportunities are going to be waiting for you. But I feel like for some of us, we're still in this like ending and we need to rest and restore our energy so that by the time we do get to that next spring or fall cycle, we'll be ready. But sometimes we got to take little breaks here and there, you know, it's just, it's part of, it's just part of it. Okay. So I want to make sure I thought I heard a card fall. Okay. So the next one is, oh, I mean, seriously, this is exactly what I was trying to say. Ace of winter, another ace. So for some of you, the beginning of these dreams are going to happen in your dream state in the winter, you know, when you are indoors and for some of you in summer, you know what I mean? It's the same. It, it really is. It's like we're either planting and, um, and, you know, harvesting or we are resting and restoring. It's like winter, winter and summer. Uh, yeah, of course, in the summer, you know, you're working hard. You're, you have to like tend to your crops and do things like that. But really, it's just like watering it and making sure that it's okay. But it's, you can't make something grow if you plant it in spring or fall you need to wait until the following spring or fall for it to come out. 
And so this Ace of Winter is really a time to just go inward and work with your crown chakra. See how like this beautiful snowflakes above their head and purple is the crown chakra. So work with that. And it says, don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented. Okay, so here we are again. We're talking about treasured dreams and ideas. So, you know, you can't go from uh, spring to winter. You have to go from winter to spring. That's the way that this planet works. It's, it's the way it will always go. It doesn't matter if you're northern or, or southern hemisphere. So, you know, in order for this to, to come to fruition, you have to really, you know, set that into motion. Also, the tiger, we're going to work. I'll put that down below. Um, for those of you who are new here, when you look in the description box, there'll be angel numbers, uh, animals, things to watch, things to read, whatever it is, follow the link, or you go and look it up yourself. It's only if you're pulled to, it's not required. It's just extra. It's, you know, some, I know myself, I like to do the extra. It's, I like to know, I want to know, Ooh, what did that angel number mean? Or, um, does that apply to my story? If you're pulled to it, if you're not, it's not for you. This is, you know, for more than one person. So, um, you know, just do what feels right. But it's important to communi communicate clearly and accurately. And I feel like that is like communicating with people who you really are. Look at look in their hands right there. See how they have like magic coming out of their hands? It's time for you to clearly and accurately explain to people who you truly are and not be afraid of it. Because, you know, um, your gifts and your magic are yours and they are not for anyone else to take away. But I think it's interesting that we got that ace right there. And look at this. And we got a king of winter. It's one of my favorite cards because he looks like Santa Claus. I love it. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I had to sneeze. Okay, um, so the king of winter. Knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, and unemotional. And it says, get advice from someone professional and objective public speaking, and unemotional relationships. Mm, interesting. Um, I am feeling uh, like, I don't know why, but I can't explain it, but I feel like I have to pull the next card. So let's see what the next card says. All right, the nine of autumn. Okay, so obviously, let me go back. I forgot to tell you guys. So winter is also north, right? Um, and it's earth, Uriel, like we called in. And it's um, ruled by Aquarius, I believe. And then we have, for those signs, that we have the earth signs, right? So we have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And it's also pentacles. So we've got spring, which is water and cups. And then we have winter, which is pentacles, which, you know, can mean uh, a lot of different things. It's not always necessarily money. It's about grounding, too, because it's an earth energy. Um, but a lot of times it does focus around like abundance. So I'm not a, t a tarot expert, as you know, I'm like, feel free to chime in. But the nine of autumn is interesting because autumn is south fire, Michael, like I spoke of earlier when we pulled him in. Um, and that's Aries, Leo and Sag, and that's wands and wands are about action. So, you know, we've got cups and water, we've got, um, earth and pentacles and then we have fire and wands and look at another nine look at the nine of autumn so we are in autumn now in the northern hemisphere and it says on the bottom reward yourself for all your hard work being happily and successfully self-employed cherishing your time alone Okay, so let's see what these say. I'm actually getting um, something from one of our tribe members, but I would never call their name out. But if if you um, message me, if you felt this for you, <laughs> anyway, I just like I just feel like this King of Winter wants to come in, and I just want to sit with this for a minute. And it's interesting that we have the ace, the beginning of winter, and the king is the end. So I feel like there's something because they had me cover up the ace of winter. And then when I looked at it, I was like, oh, yeah. So it's like, there we are again, a beginning and an end. 
But the fact that the nine of autumn is last makes me feel like we are meant to spend this time before winter hits, slowing down, like I said, rewarding yourself for all your hard work, taking a breather, being happily and successfully self-employed and cherishing your time alone. Listen, you guys, no matter where you live, a lot of places and in, in a lot of worlds, we have been programmed to believe that asking for help is like, oh, did you see that fairy go through? Thank you, fairy magic, um, is like, you know, bad or wrong or whatever. I am hearing from spirit that it's time for some of you to really reach out, whether it's for food assistance, whether it's to, um, you know, uh, whatever it is. You know, there are so many charities, especially since the, um, since COVID, there's been so many charities that have started. And there are a lot of people that haven't properly healed from the pandemic. And so um, there's so much support out there that I guarantee you, if you're like, I can't, like, I need to take a few months off or like maybe reach out to a friend or a family member and be like, I really want to start my own company. Or, you know, I don't like to say take out a loan, but you know, if it's like a good thing, like through your credit union, you know, like it's on the up and up and it's like a low percentage and you feel good about it, you know, take some time and start your own business. Cause I feel like for some of you, you're like flitting from job to job or place to place. And this is more than a few of you. Like this is what I'm getting. And you guys, I did the same thing. Most of you know, I've moved 29 times and lived in five states and I've had so many jobs. I literally, I, it would take me a long time to probably count, but probably definitely in the double digits, but probably somewhere over 20. Cause even when I was in college, I did a lot of like, you know, like little jobs here and there. So yeah. So I get it. And maybe maybe it's time to go back to school. Maybe you want to go back to school and take out a loan just so you can take a break and do something that you love. I went back to school for fashion design and I loved it. And I did do it for a profession for a while. But then I was like drawn to this and I knew this was my life. It doesn't mean that I won't go back to it. I won't. You know what I mean? Um, but I learned so much about myself. I learned so much through that experience. I gained so many, just so many experiences. I mean, honestly. So um, give yourself time. Time this winter or this summer, depending on where you live, to um, I know we're in autumn and spring right now, but I'm saying like it'll be like you know, in a flash, it'll be over. We're already a month, a full month in, so we only have two more months. Um, not only, but there's two more months, but we could do a lot during that time. So maybe it's time for you guys to like rein it in and think about what you really want, what you really, really, really want. What is going to open your heart chakra? Unpack your heart, spirit says. What is in your heart? What do you do? What do you, what is the one thing? I don't care if it's baking. I don't care if it's yoga. I don't care if it's collecting Pokemon cards. If you do something that you love so much that like everything else can like fall away and you're like, oh my God, as long as I'm doing that, I'm so happy. That is what you're meant to do. And it could even be that you focus on that and then that brings you to like where you're going to be and what you're going to do. I, I'm telling you, I have had so many times in my life where um, I have, you know, had homes and I entertained people and they used to say to me, you should open an Airbnb like that. That would be like so perfect for you. Like you love to cook. You love to bake. You love to feed people. You love to talk to people. You love to listen to people. You love to like hold people when they're sad. You know, like people trust you, you know, blah, 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 like whatever. And, um, you know, the way I decorate my home is like really comforting. And they're like, you know, you should just, just, just do that. Like take care of people. You're so good at that. Well, seven years ago, seven and a half years ago, almost now, you know, my husband and I, like, we, we talked about that. And I said, you know, I want to do something like that, but in a spiritual way. And that's what I'm working on right now. That's why I'm being patient with the house. That's why I'm doing all this, because I know that this, whether we stay here permanently or whatever, I know that this is the beginning of that. I can feel it with every fiber of my being. I have visions of it. I have visions like I haven't. And I, and I said to my husband a month before this house came into our orbit, I said, you know how I'll know it's our place. I said, because every time I ever moved into a place that I lived for a long time that I really loved, I'm like, the second I walked in there, I started picturing my stuff in there. 
And that's how this house was. Even though it was like a whatever, I was like, oh my God, it's so witchy. I'm like, it's so cute. I'm like, it has an archway for the front door, like an arch door, not like a triangle, you know, rectangle door. I mean, it's just like, you know, and yeah, it's got a lot of problems, but we're working on it. You know, it's like, we're bringing her back to life and this land deserves that. And it took me a while to finally say, okay, this is going to be hard work. But in my mind, I thought I was like, I was just going to arrive at my house. I was just going to arrive at this land and everything was going to be ready to go. And I would just like, you know, open it up, you know, I mean, obviously I knew it was going to take a minute, but I realize now it, we, I'll be lucky if we have it up and running by next summer, you know what I mean? For people to come and visit and all that, because we're already almost two months behind because that's life and I can't force it. I mean, I can, but the fairies are saying sometimes we need to take that time. And also they wanted me to bring up if any of these, when we mentioned like for winter, um, we said Taurus, you know, Virgo, Capricorn, if, and for spring, it's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and autumn is Aries, Leo, Sag. This could be you. This could be people that you're dealing with. This could, you know what I mean? I'm just sharing my experience and my story. It's like insert years here. What clicked for you in all of these? Oh, also I want to do one more thing before we go. 3522, another angel number. So here is our parting message. So what I like to do is I like to kind of scramble them up again, like after we've like had the reading and, and then I just say to spirit, like, what, what messages do you want us to, you know, what are we looking at here? Okay. So the nine of autumn, the ace of spring and the 10 of spring. And I'm just going to re read them together, okay? Reward yourself for all your hard work, being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. Ace of spring, it's time to take action, be fearless and happy, and happily pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. And last but not least, ask for help from others. All work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So I just got from that card, the asking for help from others. It's like, you know what? Ask people to help you clean up around the house, the kids, the the significant other or roommate or whatever, you know? Um, don't go and take care of some person that you always hit. You know, if people... Are, I'm, Cause I'm getting, I feel like some of you are like, yeah, but I always do that. Or they're used to that or they're, you know, and it's like tough shit. I had that happen earlier, um, this week with one of my clients and they're just like, well, I have to do this. I'm like, you really don't though. They're like, no, but I have to. I'm like, no, you don't. It's like, we have gotten so bogged down with this. I have to do this. Or they've always depended on me or what's going to happen. And they literally looked at me and were like, I'm like terrified of like, what's going to happen if I'm not here. And I was like, that's controlling. I'm like, you have to let them fall. You have, and he's like, yeah, but, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, no, sometimes we genuinely literally have, have to let other people fall so that they can figure things out for themselves. It is not our job to 24 seven, take care of everybody. It's okay to reward yourself. You work hard. And if you want to be self-employed and you know that's what will make you happy and successful, then do it. Don't be afraid to take the challenge. Cherishing your time alone, setting boundaries and saying, I need that time to myself. And then it's time to take action. If you're tired and you don't want to take physical action, you can daydream. In fact, there was um, some music I'll put below some meditation music that I was listening to while I was setting this up. And I just really felt drawn to send it to you guys as well. And they're so vastly different, which is why I think they're really awesome because I feel like they stir up different emotions. So let yourself ride into those meditations, like ride into that music and like purge whatever you need to purge, whatever it is, you know, like one was like kind of light. It felt more light. And the other one was like kind of like, you know, I felt a little more. I don't want to say ominous, but definitely like it made me like go to different places. You know what I mean? So allow yourself to, you know, be fearless and face whatever it is, you know, because isn't it interesting that this one says being happily and this one says um, be happily, be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. And this is saying being happily and successfully self-employed like that's it. 
If you keep, if you hate your job and you keep like going from shitty job to shitty job, I did it, you guys. I was there. You want to know when I finally was like, fuck this. And I'm like, something's got to give is that I've always been blessed with like awesome jobs or cool situations or whatever. And I couldn't find a job. And I said something like, that's when I knew that I had to do this. And this was like my path because the only job I can get was working at a call center for a Best Buy uh, appliance uh, delivery service. And after six months, I felt like I was going to slip my wrist. I'm not joking. I seriously was like cried to spirit after two bottles of wine and was smoking a lot of weed and was like, fuck you. And like called some dude off of fucking Craigslist to have sex. I was so in such a dark, dark, dark place where I was like, I don't fucking care. I mean, I mean, seriously, I mean, I'm so blessed that like so much more shit didn't happen to me, but I know that's, it wasn't meant to, but you know, but I had to go through it and it was gross and it was awful, but I had to go through it. And I finally was like, this isn't who I am. I don't want to do this shit. And people would be like, you know, and I could tell like when they were trying to get shit for free or they're like, um, you know, like our delivery guys are like, when we dropped that off, it was fucking perfect. I could tell they were telling the truth. And these people like, you know, did something, they were moving it and they fucked it up and they're like, Oh, it's all bashed in on one side, you know? And I'm like, they're lying. Like, it's like, I couldn't take it. I felt insane. So if you're like that, where you're like, why am I at this job, you know, and you need to have like that Norma Ray moment where you like walk off the fucking assembly line and you're like, I'm out of here. You know, it's like, I finally was just like, I got to do this for me. And it was tough. And I'm not going to lie. It was one of the hardest times in my life. I really fucking struggled. I really struggled, but I wouldn't change it for anything because it brought me to where I am today. And last but not least, you have got to ask for help from others. All work and no play and being weighed down by too many responsibilities. You know, it's not your circus, not your monkeys. And the fairies are here to tell you, like, they got your back. Spirit has your back. You just have to be the one to step off the platform. You have got to believe that they're going to catch you. That if you don't know how to fly, they will catch you. I promise you. And you will have tough days, but you'll have really magical, awesome days too. And you have to, you know, like... We said yesterday, you can't heal where you were hurt. You can't, you know, it's like you, you have to take yourself out of a situation completely and move on, you know, otherwise it's like, if you keep staying at a place where you're constantly struggling, especially if you're doing it for other people, it's just, it's just going to, this is your life and you can look at these readings and you can, you know, whatever every day, but if you don't actually do it and change it, then It's like you're just torturing yourself. It's like you're in your own prison and spirit doesn't want you to be there anymore. So this went on a little bit longer than I anticipated. I always say that, don't I? (laughs) But it doesn't. It's like it's in their time. Well, because I was thinking, you know, fuck, like these are it's this time. It's, you know, we're doing this 10 day spiritual reset to to, you know, to learn and all this and to help us reconnect with ourselves. But at the same time, I was like, you know, I know I can barely, I barely have the bandwidth, you know, for more than like a half an hour of anything these days. So anyway, um, take really good care of yourselves and each other. And until tomorrow, just know that I love you. Spirit loves you. Keep on keeping on and look out for that. Um, what to expect in Scorpio season, uh, Uh, pick a reading. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow, but um, make sure um, to check that out when you get a chance. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Blessed be. Oh.